वेलकम बैक क्लास सो लास्ट टाइम वी लर्न अबाउट द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द पॉलिसी थोड़ा सी कॉम्प्लेक्स पॉलिसी फॉर्म ओके सो इफ यू गाइस रिमेंबर इट वाज लाइक इट इज फॉर्म वी हैव कोफिशिएंट फ्रॉम माइनस इनफिनिटी टू इनफिनिटी ए की पावर प्लस जे एन मेगा नॉट टी सो वी कैलकुलेट द कोफिशिएंट वैल्यू एंड वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट आवर सिग्नल In the uh, any periodic signal, in the complex Fourier series representation, and we learned about how we can plot the spectrum of the complex Fourier series. So basically, uh, we can derive another expression from this. So if we just show the other identities, so we can we can get the combined trigonometric form. So the combined trigonometric form is that uh, we have the DC component separate, separate DC component. We can Which we can calculate it in the same way, okay? This is in the nth component, the coefficient value, okay? Rest we are starting from the positive values. Now we are just concentrating on the positive value, n is equal to infinity. So the complex we are we are taking the nth uh, minus infinity to infinity values. So here we take only one to infinity values. So two times of the cn magnitude, cosine of n omega naught t plus theta of cn, okay? So the complex representation was this one the coefficient in the complex form okay so if we just simplify this okay which is not actually i'm not going to the details of the simplification okay so we can get this form okay this is called combined trigonometric form okay just another representation so here we were representing our uh, periodic signal in the form of the complex exponential here we are presenting our signal in the form of the Signs, okay, only cosine signal with the coefficient value, and this coefficient value we can calculate in the same way like we did earlier on. So, for example, uh, again this is example which we solved last time, but the last time if you guys remember your signal was this one, okay. So here my signal is this one, okay. It's kind of a square wave form now, okay. And if you look again here. this the time periods we know that we actually have to calculate the coefficient values okay and for the coefficient value we have to integrate from minus t over 2 to t over 2 f of t e to power minus a n omega not t into dt so we have to find the time period so again this word is being repeated after time period t so here the time period is t so we will solve this in the same fashion like we did earlier on and can get our cn coefficient value so once we know that we can just plug in that value here and we can get the combined trigonometric form of the fourier series the next form of the fourier series so this is your homework okay so try this so we did the example earlier on so try to get this coefficient value for this one and uh, i will discuss more details in the live session for this but the procedure is same as we did last time so this will be the final form that uh, if we calculate the cn value the so cn value here is this one okay and uh, if we evaluate at c is equal to 0 so we will get only uh, this value okay and the combined trigonometric form is that we have the c0 value integration two times of the cn value multiplied with cosine so i will just put up the value here this is c0 two times this is cn value cosine of n omega not t okay that is coming here okay so this is the f of t the combined trigonometric representation of the rectangular wave form. the last form of the fourier series is trigonometric form okay so we have seen complex exponential combined trigonometric the last one is trigonometric so trigonometric is this form okay that we can represent in completely in the form of the cosine and sine okay so here uh, the coefficients are changed now we are representing our coefficient in the form of a0 which is actually the dc 
coefficient or the average value and uh, we have uh, the an coefficient and the bn so this part is actually called even part and this part is called odd part of the four series in the trigonometric form and this is the dc value so here we are representing completely in the form of the cosine and sine okay so now again the important thing which we did in every form is the calculation of the coefficient values so we can calculate the a0 value by integrating our function for the complete time period from minus t over 2 to t over 2 but here we will divide uh, multiply with 2 over t okay lastly we were using 1 over t okay here we will use 2 over t for a n okay for the a n calculation we will multiply f of t with the sine of l omega naught t okay just integrate for the complete time period for the b n calculation f of t it will be multiplied with sine of l omega naught t okay just integrate and we will get the b n value so once we know this a a 0 a and b n value so just plug in that values here okay and we can get the trigonometric representation of the uh, our periodic segment okay so there is a relationship between the complex form and the trigonometric form okay so c0 which was the complex uh, for its representation coefficient is a basically is equal to a naught over 2 okay so if you know the a naught you can get the c0 okay or if you know the c0 you can get the a naught okay so the idea is either you can uh, if you calculate only the c n coefficients so you can get these coefficients a n b n from this for example c n this is half of a n minus j b n okay so if you know c n okay we can calculate a n and b n if you know c n and c n and negative values if you know a n a n and b n values you can get the c n values okay so if you know one of these coefficients for example if you know this you can write the trigonometric form and you can also write the complex form okay by just calculating the directly coefficient value from these values you don't have to redo the integration again okay for example if you guys remember the c n value was 1 over t minus t over 2 t over 2 f of t e to power minus a n omega naught t into dt so you don't have to redo this integration okay just use these values okay this and uh, do the subtraction with the conjugate and uh, divide you will get the c n value so you can directly write the complex uh, for the representation also okay by just uh, getting these values so this is a square wave form okay similar example which we are doing so but now we have to uh, get the trigonometric for a series form for this okay so basically we have to calculate the values of the a0, an and bn. Again the first thing is calculate the time period here. So if you guys look here this is the pulse. This pulse is repeating after this time period. Okay, So basically the time period here is 2 pi. Okay. So we have to solve. We know that this is 2 over t. So if you guys remember this integration minus t over 2 into t over 2 f of t into dt so 2 over t t is 2 pi here so we are integrating from minus t over 2 to t over 2 okay or we are integrating from minus pi to pi okay but this signal is existing from 0 to pi only so basically we will integrate from 0 to pi and f of t this value is 1 into dt just solve this integration this will be pi this pi pi will be cancelled this 2 2 will be cancelled and the a dc value is 1 here to calculate the a n component we will multiply from minus t over 2 to t over 2 f of t with the cosine of n omega naught t into d so f of t value is 1 so we just have to integrate cosine okay and we can get the an component similarly for bn 2 over t minus t over 2 to t over 2 f of t which is 1 sine of n 
mega naught t into dt and we can get the bm component so try to do this uh, integration and try to calculate the values of the an and bm so we will do the complete uh, solving okay of this integration in the live session so a0 value is 1 a n value is 0 in this case and b n value is 2 over n pi are the odd numbers okay 1 3 and 5 if n is 1 3 and 5 then b n value is 2 over n pi otherwise this is 0 okay so basically what we got from here okay that uh, a naught value is 1 okay so this is a naught over 2 okay trigonometric form plus you have this submission sign okay minus infinity infinity a n sign of n omega naught t plus minus infinity infinity b n sign of n omega naught t okay so the a n value is 0 so this whole term will become 0 and the b n value is 2 over n power so if we just put up that number and we integrate we can get this form here okay so we will do this uh, that uh, in the detail instead how we can actually get these forms in the trigonometric so this way we can actually get the trigonometric representation so if you have a look here so basically what is this you have a square waveform and this square waveform is basically the sum of the sine signals so if you just add the uh, the odd components that sine of t sine of 3t sine of 5t so if you just add the n sine component together okay you can get a square waveform so by just adding sine components the odd components together we can get a square waveform so this is the actual uh, the procedure for the uh, generation of the square waveforms so actually once we uh, once we uh, want to get a square waveform we just add the odd component of the sign signals and the resulting waveform will be a square waveform so to get more accurate waveform higher number of the sign harmonics must be added so these are these are called harmonics so this is the first harmonic this is the third harmonic this is the fifth harmonic so higher the number of harmonics are added together the better will be our signal This is uh, a table of Fourier series that for example if you have a square waveform the complex coefficient the c0 value is 0 and ck or cn value okay is this one okay for the square wave. If you have a sawtooth waveform okay the c0 value is this one and the cn value is this one. If you have a triangular waveform okay these are the values. If you have full wave rectified these are the values okay. So for the different uh, the waveform representation so this table shows the uh, Fourier series for the common signals. Okay, if you have a half wave rectified signal, so these are the coefficient values, the complex coefficient values. If you have a rectangular, these are the complex coefficient. So if you guys uh, have a look here, so you get the complex coefficient values. If you know the complex coefficient values, you can write the uh, any form. Okay, the complex Fourier series. You can write the combined trigonometric, which is actually based on these values. You can write the trigonometric form okay so we can get the a0 a n and b n values from this okay by just uh, arithmetic additions we can get these values so from these values we can write any kind of the trigonometric Fourier series form so this is the end of the second part of the lecture we will uh, solve the detailed uh, calculation of the examples in the live session thank you very much for your time